10 times it is repeating okay hello so sometimes it is repeating right then then in that case so if you want to remove off some occurrences remove first occurrence remove last occurrence okay remove dot remove of remove last occurrence okay so there may be 10 times out of 10 times whether you want to delete a first occurrence or last occurrence only two options is there not in the middle either you want to delete in the first option or last occurrence in the middle let's say in the fifth occurrence or fifth duplicate occurrence you want to delete then we don't have that okay then in that case we need to write our own logic they have given provision to delete of either duplicate objects in the first occurrence or last occurrence wherever it is available clear or not clear so we'll see one example also at the end okay later yeah okay last class we have discussed uh, um, serialization concept right so today we are going to discuss about uh, some io package classes that are sometimes we'll use of these classes uh, not 100 percent rarely sometimes we'll use these classes okay we'll uh, revise these things so what is the purpose of uh, io package io package means uh, input output related things okay input output if you want to write data something to the file or if you want to read the file okay like that if you want to do of any input output related things then we can use of io package okay we can use of io package there are some classes that will use there are some classes that will be used for creating a file and some writing some data to the file okay like that these are the important classes that will be used file file writer file reader okay buffer writer buffer reader and print writer these are the classes that will be used okay for writing up some data to the file or for reading the data from the file okay now let's go and start the first one file okay why do we need a file file class why do we need a file class so let's say if i want to create of any file any new file or if it is there i want to if it is there then don't create it use existing one if it is not there then only create it okay there may be some methods is there in the file class to identify whether the file is there or not if file is not there then we can create of there are some methods to create the files okay now let's create of one let's create you already written some classes just class okay class test to file okay test to file so inside file class inside file class there are some methods is there and there are some multiple constructors is also available okay how exactly you want to going to create the file so with the directory you want to create with the, with the directory with some folder you want to create the file or only you want to create the file okay like that multiple constructors are there how exactly we can create object for a file means create file f equal to new file okay so it will accept it will accept of it will accept some path it will accept some path where exactly you want to create the file and what is the name of the file so that path it is asking so we need to give off where exactly you want to where exactly you want to give the file name okay now let's give off some file name to abc abc dot txt abc dot txt you are giving some file name so then in that case it will create the file in the current project we are not giving any path okay we are not giving any path then in that case directly it will create the file in the project okay if let's say if you want to create the file in the d drive then give like this then it will create it will check in the whether it is available or not first the first this line will check whether it is available or not it will check okay if it is already there then it will simply refer it okay 
if it is not there directly it won't create it we need to call a method called create new file okay now to know that whether that file is existing or not there are some methods is available in the file class okay so f dot exist okay there is a method called exist method if file is available okay then we'll come to know whether it is available or not if it is not there then we can write off control x if it is returning true means then it is available right now let's say is it returning true false that means that go to d drive go to d drive so do you have any file no right with abc text it is not there so if it is not there let's say you want to create if it is not there you want to create then in that case what we can do we have to call a method called create new file okay so so in that case what we can write we can write condition that's it simply okay if flex if file not exist okay then create it f dot create new file it is condition based okay if file is not there then only create it else utilize else utilize existing file name so this condition will return false so that false is converting back to here not a kept right it will convert that false to true and then this block will execute and it will create a file then go and check the file see the file is created but it is only for creating the file guys not to write any content okay this is only to create the file now let's say if you want to create some directory also if you want to create some directory also just assume okay then in that case we can write off some let's write off uh, file f equal first we will create the file with the path okay file new yeah new file so here it is asking with the file guys with the path name either you can give only file name or with the directory name whichever you want you can give it okay now let's give up some path okay give d drive or some file if it is there first we will check which drive which path is there let's lib is there on folder is there let's inside lib i want to create a for one folder um, test okay i want to create a for one folder test so there is no test folder inside lib folder okay first it will check so if the file folder is not there okay if uh, the directory is not there then only create okay then only create uh, the directory so i'll write condition what is the condition condition guys if f1 dot f1 dot exist exist only okay it is not a file name right so if it is not there then only create that okay we'll see if it is for the existing one also later again let's say f1 dot for creating file there is a method called create new file for creating a directory there is a method called make directory make mk dir make directly it will create it it will create the file okay now let's check after this line let's check it whether it is available true or false it will return before that also we will write it system dot out dot print ln what it is the value file exist after the line now let's uh, run it now this is done comment it for a confusion yeah first it is giving 
false right first it is giving that uh, directory is not available text so next time it is giving of it is giving of true that means it is created we called of method uh, mkdar see it is just now it is created it is just now the file uh, folder is created okay now so i want to write some file inside this i want to create that file create the directory and if the file also i want to write it okay now in this case what i can do i can create a file f2 equal to new file of new file of i will take this time two parameters okay i will take off this time with two parameters there is a file parent okay give this no we have two things where exactly you want to file parent okay and file that one which you want to give that file now let's give off f1 okay let's give off f1 this one okay and the file name i want to create of some test123 dot txt file i want to create it i want to create this file okay if this file if this file is not there i want to create it okay now let's create that file f2 dot create file now let's run it if you want to create other one also no issue test to directory okay now let's go and check test to folder this is the new folder inside this text 123 okay inside that it is created the file first it is created and then inside this folder okay as a parent i want to create of this child file i want to create of the file text 123 okay so if i want to know whether it is a file or not if i want to know f2 dot this system dot out dot print ln if already it is created as system dot out dot print ln of f2 dot is file is file okay system dot out dot print ln of f1 is file is is file or is directory okay system dot out dot print ln of f1 dot is directory okay so whether it is file means it will give true if it is a directory means it will give false okay now let's see if it is now we have three things after exist let's see what is the first true is it file f2 is file or not it is a file okay next f1 is, is file f1 is not a file it is a directory okay f1 is is directory it is returning true yes it is a folder okay to knowing of this one we can use of it all these things is it clear guys the file how to create the file and with the folder and with the directory guys these are the just file class with some file name whether it is exist or there are some methods is available okay if it is already there you, you don't want to create that folder then in that case we can use of exist method based on the condition we can create that either file or whether directory or folder okay so guys is it clear or not till now to write some data into the file before guys are you able to hear me or not i'm not right so only file just now till now we discussed file to create the new files or directories or create the files inside directories okay if not there create the directory and then write new file okay now next next topic is 
फाइल राइटर नेक्स्ट वन इज फाइल राइटर सो हियर देर आर सम कंस्ट्रक्टर देर फाइल एफ न्यू फाइल ऑफ द फाइल नेम आर विथ सम डायरेक्टरी नेम ओके विथ सम फाइल नेम द डायरेक्टरी विथ सम फाइल नेम आर विथ बोथ आर सेम आई थिंक ऑलमोस्ट ओके नाउ given some examples also you can practice it okay next uh, file writer file writer now by name itself is telling file writer i want to write something to the some i want to write uh, some data into the file i want to write uh, some data into the some file okay so now we will write a for uh, one file writer class file writer test file writer test <clears throat> now now let's uh, uh one second file writer there are some so by using file writer class we can write some data into the file okay till now only created we are not writing any data to the file only whether file is there or not if not there create it but till now we didn't write any data into the r we didn't write any data to the file now by using file writer only we can write the data to the file there are some constructors are available there are some constructors that are available to the file writer class okay these are the classes these are the constructors file writer with some file name or file writer with some file object or file writer with file name with append you want to write whatever that you are writing you want to append to the file or not that's what these methods okay these are constructors okay as a existing file you want to append or not that's what it is so to the file so to the by using file writer to the file we can write either single character or character array or string or string these are the things that we can we will use commonly for on top of file writer if you want to write a single character character by character then you can call of write method with single character okay and to write a single character to the file if you want to write a character array said so say i have a list of some characters is there so i want to write all characters into the file then write of character array or you can pass of as a string also okay the same string will be added to the file so the plus plus means so whatever the data that you are adding to the file so it will give guarantee like uh, till last character that is added to the file if you are calling plus method and the close method is to close the io stream to close the stream we need to call this method is this is also very important method guys compulsory we need to use close okay now next we'll take off uh, one example okay now write of some file later and then file name and which append true and write of some all the methods will utilize it okay write it first write a file writer file 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 w r i file writer file writer okay f w Okay, equal to new file writer of so it will take off two things okay new file writer of i'm writing file name okay i'm giving file name and append i'm giving name of the file is so let's test 1 2 3 okay test 1 2 3 in the current project itself okay and append equal to true i'm giving i want whatever the data i'm adding just append to the file append to the file okay now let's the let's utilize methods fl dot write method fl dot write of write of character array so character array means before that we will create of some characters before that we can create of some characters or else directly you can try that 
by single character single character whether it is accept or not no let's create of some character array character array ch equal to write of some characters abc abc just i heard of some three characters okay now i want to add of it there is a method inside the file writer to write of a character array to accept of a character array okay write ch right ch now will add up all the things let's print print of no need to print anyhow it is going to file right dot txt it is a file name okay now and uh, what else methods now there are some methods uh, only character only single character okay fw dot write of single character either we can use of number or character guys so now let's say if i'm giving 100 if i'm giving 100 means then what is the value of 100 100 value is 97 means a b c d so the d value will be added to the file okay d value will be added to the file now let's say if i want to write off some string if i want to write off some string object write off some string object okay write off some string object techno write off some string object you want to move to the next line there is a slash n means new line okay if you are calling off slash n in between just assume that write off new line just something slash n okay it will go to new line okay next so write off flush method fw dot flush so it will make that guarantee that all the data is added to the added to the file okay now let's run it now it is done successfully it is now let's we don't have text one two three right now see guys okay we don't have any file now let's delete these two and refresh it even delete these as well okay. now let's refresh it text one two three is added file is added even if it is not there also and what it is added first ibc so first what i did i have added of character array first character array is added ibc okay next 100 is added so what is that file ibc and d d means 100 okay next i called off slash n then it is moved to next line it is coming to second line and next we are writing of techno next we are writing techno that is also added this is of to write of the data okay if you want to write off any data to the file we can use a file writer okay in the same way if you want to read up the data okay if you want to read the data then we can use of file reader just assume i want to read whatever that you have written the same thing that we will read it okay by using a file reader class okay the methods there are some methods for writing write method is there for reading read method is there okay whether you want to read line by line character by character okay whether you want to read everything so there are some methods two methods is there that we'll see so by using file reader class we can read character data from file okay so in the above file reader we have four constructors are there okay now let's see here we have two constructors file reader of file name or you can pass off a file object anything is fine okay now let's uh, take off write it let's write uh, here only okay let's write 
or else let's write um, class uh, file or reader test file reader test okay so i want to read off the file so now i need to test one two three dot txt now file reader l reader fr equal to new file reader of give that file name okay what is that file name text one two three okay t test one two three dot txt let's give that file name now is throwing up some io exception file not found exception now let's no issue <coughs> now from from this fr we can read it from this fr we can read character by character there is a method called read method okay so this will give one character okay all for each and every character there is some integer representation value is there right so it will give in that format now let's um, scare okay ch we'll draw for some io exception no issue now right iterate of all the things iterate of each and every everything so if the value is not there then it will return minus one until that it should iterate it until that it should iterate my condition if character ch if character ch not equal to not equal to minus one character ch not equal to minus one until that i want to until that i want to read it okay printers so what is the character system not out of print enough the ch value so it is a integer value convert into char is of integer value convert into char so once it is finished then call again fr dot read method for the next for the next character and add it this character until all the characters it is readed but here it is character by character it is readed so that is the reason i kept here as ln if i am removing here as ln then try however it is there in the data in the file in the same way only it will read it the print ln means for each character the new line it is going to it is going okay print ln means print means however it is there in the same way it will print it in the file okay this is one way and if you can have if you want other way also like read of all the characters character array also there is one more method read character array there is a method called read character array so whatever that is there de data in the file all that will be moved to this character array that character array we will iterate it okay even that also we'll see one one example already uh, given that let's just um, write it print it now oh, so write off create of one file first file f equal to new file of new file of this what is the file name take this file name a file name and we'll pass this file name to file reader file reader f r equal to new file reader of that file f okay new file reader of f now from this file reader we can read it from this file reader to f r dot read of character read of character so let's create of one character char, sorry char array and then char array equal to empty array some with some length ch char char of so how many characters i want it is of array right array means compulsory the size is fixed 
compulsory size is fixed what is the size of that array so that we want to get from this file there is a length method is available in the file dot length so with that length i want to create one character array object with that length i want to create of one character what happened long to int now let's convert to int Int. Now I created a one character array with some length, whatever the size that is there in the length. With that length, I am creating a one character array. So whatever the data that is there inside this file, I want to write into this character with this character array object. And I want to re I want to iterate of this character array character array. Then it for each let's create a some for each for each yeah now each character it will print it system not out of print ln of if you are using a print ln then every character will go line by line okay if you want everything however it is there in the file in the same way if you want means then you need to use of you need to use of print method okay you need to use of print method let's the same way it is reading it if you are keeping as ln then it will uh, every character it will go new lines for every character it is going to new line if you want however that is there in this file in the same way if you want uh, then we can read it in by using print l print method okay now let's go to now nowadays file reader and file writer objects uh, we are not using file reader and uh, file writer objects uh, we are not using so most of the times recently we are using of uh, buffer reader and uh, buffer writer objects we are using buffer reader and uh, buffer writer classes uh, that we are using this buffer reader and uh, buffer writer classes we are using nowadays okay now so even buffer reader and buffer writer objects also to write the data and to read the sorry to read the data okay now let's uh, um, yeah buffer writer okay like writer buffer writer first we'll see okay now in the uh, file writer we have a method write of character is there write of character is there write of uh, string array is, string is also there so along with this these are the known methods which is available in the file writer right already we have seen these methods so there is a one more method for for new line we are using of for new line we were using there as a slash n to move to the next line so but in case of buffer writer there is a method called new line method is there there is a method new line method to move to new line okay now let's take off an example and then let's take one example buffer writer object is to write character data into the file like uh, file writer okay now let's take off an example and uh, take this and then explain you buffer writer first you have buffer wra buffer writer demo Let's control shift O. We'll import it all the files and uh, it's throwing up some IO exceptions. Just throw it in the method level. Okay. Let me explain. So what I'm doing first, I'm creating up one file with some file name. Okay, if it is not there, it will create this file. It will show that if it is not there, means uh, if it is not there, create that file. Okay. And write a file writer object. And then keep that file writer object inside buffer writer object. Okay, this file. This is not there that you have 
created and I am creating a phone file writer object instead of writing file writer object the data I'm using of a buffer writer okay now I'm keeping this file writer object inside buffer writer and then on top of buffer writer I'm calling off all the methods write of 100 so in case of slash n I'm calling off a new line I'm creating a character array and I'm passing off same character array so here the new thing is only we are created file writer object that we are passing to the buffer writer class and then here everything all the methods is same except to new line for moving to the new line there is no extra thing here now let's read it and it is of whether file is existing or not that method that is returning this one now let's refresh the class project it is created one file with uh, some data so one file with some data means uh, first i have written of uh, 100 100 means it is going to it is 100 means uh, the value of 100 is d okay next uh, i'm calling off a uh, new line okay then it is moving to new line second line and i have created a one character array that character array object i am passing to write method then all all characters will be combined and then it will add to the file it will add to the file a b c d next i am calling again new line ibc new line techno private limited so whatever that is there ibc new line and techno private limited so whatever the data that we are using yeah, added here in the same way it is adding to the file but even by using file writer also we can write the data but nowadays that is not recommended better to go for a buffer writer class to write data to the file that's what the buffer writer so buffer reader one more is there buffer reader just whatever that is there added to the file simply reading of the data okay to read the character data from the file here we have written for writer object and there here we are using reader object the methods whatever that is there read method and read of with character here the new method is read line if you want to there we are carry read by character by character we are reading if i want to read the entire line in one shot then there is a method called read line method is available okay that's one extra things they have added in the buffer reader next line next uh, write it simply instead of this comment it and uh, add up this one control shift o and done so i am now before file read it directly from this we are reading from file reader object okay now this file reader object i am passing to buffer reader class okay from the buffer reader class object we are reading line by line read line if line is there data is there it will read that line if not there it will return null okay if the data is not there it will return null if you want you can read it read line it attempts to read and return the next line from the file if next line is not available then this method returns null until it is identifying that line value is null so it will iterate the data and then print it okay read line will give off the next line data until if line there is no next line then it will return null until that it will iterate that data and then it will print it even single character or multiple characters or string whatever it is line by line it will read it okay this is a file buffer writer sorry buffer reader now there is one more class print writer class so by using of writer classes okay by using um, whatever that is there till now we have used we are using of only character data we are writing only 
character data only we are writing so if you want to write off any type of data to the file okay then print writer class is introduced so by using print writer class object we can write any type of data we can write any type of data to the file not only like character not only int okay till now we are seeing only int value it is accepting it is not accepting of other value also right it is not accepting of here only int type is there there is a method inside buffer writer now let's uncomment I'll shift o now if i'm changing to l okay so it is giving error okay l means it is a long one so it is taking of accepting of only integer value see it is of int type only it is taking the value it is not taking of any other type but by using print writer class by using print writer class we can write off any type of data okay now next to go to that file will take off an example for this there are some constructors with print writer of with name okay it is the name of the file which you want to create it okay we'll write some print writer class and with by using of some file name and then all the methods write method with all the types okay they have written some println methods also along with write methods to write of character character and string okay apart from that print methods is added many print and println methods they have added print of character print of integer print of double print of boolean print of string character 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 and integer i double with the print ln guys these are print ln it is going to new line okay with the print and with the print ln both it is it is of overloaded overloaded methods overloading means already we know the method name is same by changing the parameters or type of parameters like oh, sorry it is not over these are overloaded methods okay all print and print ln okay now let's take off one example also okay print writer class writer print writer test. control shift o print it and uh, throw an uh, exception <clears throat> so what i'm doing i'm writing of uh, file writer i'm writing of file writer i want to something to the file this is a file name that we already know that okay now next i'm creating a print writer object i'm passing this where you want to write in this uh, file writer object okay now by using this print writer object i can write off any type of data integer data if i want to go to new line print ln if i want to write write method directly with a string okay two times string print ln with integer with the boolean with the care okay with string again okay we can write off any type of data into the file let's now it is done let's refresh the project it will create of a print writer object however whatever that we have written all these things is added to the file this is what io package guys mostly we'll use these classes i don't think so we'll use more than these things okay yeah if you have any doubt guys just i'll repeat it again if anywhere is not clear guys just ask me io package means guys okay remember one thing io package means it is of creating a file and writing data or reading data that's it guys io package means okay the classes 
file means for creating file file reader means for reading the file if you don't write file writer or buffer reader okay for reading buffer writer for writing yes go ahead someone is asking hello go ahead guys no questions okay. then up to this io package is clear now we will move to most important topic most important topic in the java is nowadays every day we are using that only java 8 features java 8 features without java 8 features okay there is no interview will finish by directly they will ask are you using which version of which version are you using java 8 features or not okay that is the first question they are asking okay now <clears throat> We'll go and start off. What is Java? What are the features uh, that they have introduced in Java 8? What are all the features uh, that are introduced in Java 8? Let's go and uh, see that. So, as part of Java 8, uh, the new features that they were introduced is uh, one is lambda expressions. Okay. And the next one is uh, functional interfaces. Next one is uh, functional interfaces and uh, Allah like that uh, default methods in the interface default uh, methods uh, already we have seen this one default methods in the interface uh, inside interface uh, we can create up till now before 1.8 inside interface uh, we can create up only abstract methods uh, okay after that we can create up for default methods as well as uh, static methods uh, okay and predicates predicates functions okay and method double colon operator is there double colon method reference we'll call it as a double colon operator and stream api and date and time api the most important thing out of this is stream api most important thing is stream api lambda expression so internally stream api is depending on lambda expression lambda expression is depending on functional interface okay internally this stream api and lambda internally it will use of predicates for conditional checks so all are interlinked all are interlinked concept okay we'll see one by one guys guys before moving is it okay to start guys right guys can you respond Yes, that's what I'm asking. Is it okay to start today or tomorrow? But I want to finish it. Uh, today and I today and tomorrow will take tomorrow to take class, guys. If I want to take, I will take in the evening. Today. Is there okay means? Okay. So I'll keep class in the evening, guys. Is it okay? Or tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Evening okay? Okay. Evening I will schedule one more meeting. Okay. We can start off for Java 8 features. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys. We'll meet again in the evening. <laughs>